Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and just feel free to motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. You can give those um, suggestions down below by dropping the link or the name, and I'll be more than glad to react to them. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. Keep liking, commenting, everything that you guys do. Keep supporting us. You guys are really, really amazing, and we appreciate you each and every day. Um, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Funny and Jesse. Um, say hi, we'll say hi. Check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. And enjoy the content that we're putting out. So today I'm going to be reacting to Andrew Tate on the key to a happy relationship with a woman. I wonder what this is going to be about because he's, he does the most when it comes to his advice. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. A lot of guys today, and this is something, you know, a lot of the red pill guys and stuff, they want to blame women for all this shit. They want to say, oh, women are thoughts today. And it's like women have always been women throughout history it they've always in the absence of masculinity become masculine this is just like their characteristics so so i i i like to blame the man i like to say if a woman is treating you wrong if, if you've got you know all the shit that happens to you it's because of you so how does the man become the guy that that doesn't have this shit happen to him? i a thousand percent agree with you friend i a thousand percent agree so here's the truth about male female relationships women fuck men they respect mm -hmm. that's it they don't men they like. They don't, they don't fuck men they love. They fuck men they respect. If she loves you and likes you and doesn't respect you, she will not have sex with you. I have women who respect me and fucking hate me, but they're here every time I call. So how do you make women respect you? Well, first you have to be worthy of respect as an individual. There's no hack. If you're worthy of respect, you're worthy of respect. But secondly, you cannot allow blatant disrespect. So if you allow her to blatantly disrespect you and you tolerate that, then you're setting a precedent which means, well, why would I respect this guy in the first place? Yeah. I say this to guys all the time. I've, I've had loads of guys who come to me for like coaching and stuff. And they say, you know, my woman doesn't respect me, da, 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 da. And I say, look, it's much harder to fix something that's broken than just never let it go wrong in the first place. Right. From the second you got together, you should have been a man. And you can be, you haven't got to be an asshole. You haven't got to be aggressive. I'll sit with a girl and very politely say, look, if we're going to be in a relationship, if I'm going to take you seriously, you're not going to have male friends. If you want to hang around with a whole bunch of men, then yes. I'm not going to take you seriously. What do you mean you won't take me seriously? I mean, I mean, we can fuck, but I'm not going to be, I'm never going to look at you as serious material. So yeah. it, it's, the, the idea, the decision is on you. If you want to be serious, you're not going to talk to those guys. You want to talk to those guys, fuck you sometimes. You, you decide. And I lay it on them. Now, if they choose to ha keep all their male friends, then that means she's chosen these friendships over me, which means sooner or later she was going to cheat anyway. So why yeah. would I even be upset about it? But most men are too scared to just put the ultimatum down. And not, you haven't got to put the ultimatum down in some scary, big, brash way. Just be clear. Look, any woman I'm with who I take seriously doesn't hang around with other men. So yep. it's, it's your choice. And, and this is the point. But most men don't say anything. They let it slide and they let it get completely broken. And they come to me and say, well, how do I fix it? It's like, well, you have to make it not let it get broken in the first place. You need to understand your boundaries and expectations as a man. And you have to set them. And you have to make sure she complies and sticks to them. And if she doesn't, you're going to have to find somebody else and say, oh, Tate, but I don't want to be a playboy like you. I say, look, if you want to be happily married, the best thing you can be first is a playboy. Yeah. The best thing you can do because you're going to learn a whole bunch about women. You're going to have a yeah. whole bunch of choices to choose for a wife. The key is this as a man. And this is the bottom, bottom, bottom line. Most men are not prepared to walk away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. And if you're not prepared to walk away, you don't have any weapons. Exactly. If she knows no matter what, you won't leave, then what weapons do you have? Anything you say, shouting, screaming, yelling, go, going out away for a few days, whatever. She knows you're going to come back. She, you have no weapons. The second, imagine a girl came to you and she said, no matter what you do, no matter how many times you cheat, no matter what, da, 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 I will never, never leave. Right. Think of all the shit you do. <laughs> Think of what, I know I do. Yeah. So this is the point. So as a man, if you're never prepared to walk away, you're never going to be respected. Respect and the woman thinking, you know what? He might just leave. Yeah. are linked they have to be there so you have to mean what you say you have to let her know look there's some things i won't tolerate and if you fuck with me i'm gonna walk away and if you walk away and she doesn't chase you then then she's gone at exactly. least you saved yourself a fucking nasty divorce and getting cheated on and all that shit just end it then and there and save yourself a bunch of time 
but men are too afraid to, to pull the plug on it. And this is one of the advantages of being a playboy. I can leave any chick because I, I got, I got 10 more. Yeah. So if she doesn't act right, I'll just replace her for the night and I'll feel better by the next day. I go through a breakup a week. I'm used to it. I yeah. don't give a shit. And it's just like, this is part of the game. So you have to be prepared to walk away as a man. So you have to look at any relationship you're in and say, okay, I'm a nice guy. I love her. She loves me, but I have boundaries. And if she fucks with them, I'm going to have to walk away. And that's the truth. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you're never going to be respected. That's life. That's, that's how it, it. goes. I've been that's head it. over heels in love with women. I didn't want to lose them and they weren't listening. So I walked away and they didn't chase me and I lost them, but that's it. My honor is intact. My pride's intact. And now I don't give up anymore because time's a hero. That's life. So exactly. it's better than staying in a relationship, which I'm not happy in because she starts acting like a fuck fool. You're playing a game of chess and you're in a losing position. And the only hope you have of winning is a big sacrifice. You give up your queen and you don't know if it's going to work or not, but it's the only hope. You're better off making the sacrifice, even if you lose, because if you don't, you're just going to slowly get ground down and definitely lose in the end. Right. Like, do you, do you love that to you so much? You'd rather delay the breakup by seven months and lose without any pride or honor. Yeah. And leave without any pride or honor while she cheats on you. Isn't it better just to say right hand in the air, you're not talking to that guy anymore? Like yep. it's, 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 the end is coming. If she chooses to talk to that dude over you, the end is certain. So can you have enough balls to just say bye and at least leave with your head held high? But right. this is another thing, man. It's, it's crazy. This, these men have never been through any kind of emotional trauma. So the idea of breaking up with a woman is, is big to them. I've, I've, I've been through, when you've been through real shit, a breakup just doesn't become that real anymore. You know, I've had people try to kill me. I have stab wounds. Tell me again about this girl who doesn't text you back. Like, who gives a shit? Like, there's, there's, people, like, there's people in Syria getting bombed. Yeah. You know, like, you have to get some perspective and just realize you're being, like, there's, there's real trauma out here in the world. Terrible things happen day after day. And here you are, alive and breathing and perfectly healthy, and you're going to cry over some bitch. Just man up. Always interesting to listen to what he has to say and I, w I think I said this in one of my videos about him. He actually gives some good advice despite the words he chooses to use. Um, I love how, I don't know if it's the interviewer or what, a saying women are blamed for certain things in life. Why can't men themselves take responsibility that they must be doing something. That's why that woman is acting the way she's acting. Very few people take, um, acknowledge their mistakes. And for the people that acknowledge their mistakes, not people but men that accept their mistakes, he, and then Tate responded by, Andrew Tate responded by talking about um, boundaries. Certain boundaries he sets is don't keep male friends. And if you, if you guys watched his other um, video, his famous video with he, him and a girl on a date, he actually said men and women can't be friends. He won't keep female friends. She shouldn't keep male friends. That goes both way, ways. How are you so comfortable around being, other, being around other people when you know you've got a partner? Being around the opposite sex when you know you've got a partner there's a th there's a line that you should draw have boundaries with those people there's nothing wrong with being in a relationship and distancing yourselves from people that may be single from people that um about the player life people that are not in relationships you can distance yourselves from those people there's nothing wrong you know and that's what people don't understand. Many, many people don't understand that. Some people actually have the ex excuse of saying, um, but I'm doing this, but it's important to me, but I've known this person since I was young. No, it doesn't work like that. Once in a relationship, you give up those things. And for the people that are fine with their partners, having male or female friends, I mean, that's up to you. That's up to you. People are different. People are really different, but I'm talking about the people that actually think having more friends or female friends is dangerous to your relationship. And others are going to say, no, that's controlling. No, it's not controlling someone. It's really not. If that's my boundary, respect it. If that's your boundary, I should respect it. It's up to me to leave or stay. But also having these friends doesn't mean I'm going to cheat. No, it doesn't. Although there's a possibility that a shoulder to lean on sometimes is dangerous. 
and living goes both ways if something is shaken up if you're having issues in your relationship then there's something wrong your relationship won't shake because it wants to shake it's going to shake because there's something going on and you people are not dealing with it and if you let that build up sometimes you break up but he's speaking about leaving even if you leave do you expect someone to chase after you saying let's stay sometimes sometimes it's just you know what i've gone through the most i think it's time for me to go if the person comes to you they don't come to you it's a win-win situation sometimes if you're in something toxic just walk away if the person wants you and is willing to solve something and actually get to the bottom of what's bothering you guys in that relationship then wait things out if you chase after that person and are willing to actually talk about it then so be it but if you chase someone and they still give you a cold shoulder leave that person you deserve better you really really deserve better than what they're giving you you're showing signs of wanting willing to calm the situation down they're pushing you away let them push you away go out there thrive on your own and enjoy life anyway let me know what you guys think about this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video